And we're back. It's like we never left. We're back. Yes, we're back. We're doing another a podcast on video. Mm-hmm. It's another one yeah. on YouTube. It's like we're never back, except except we were never away. But now we're sick. You're sick. I'm sick. Yes. I'm been borderline. Yes. I don't know how I'm not like really, really sick. It's because my body knows I still have to like work and perform. Yes. And also because I think you sleep more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think yeah. that's a difference? Yes, I think that really Does makes that make a difference. a difference? Yeah. Getting sleep, how important is that really? Uh, well, I think you're putting too much importance on it just to you think? to give you a crutch. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. We need to sleep. <laughs> yes. So that's why I got sick, finally. Yeah, I, think- I didn't get a, a lot of sleep. I think you got more sleep than me last night. Oh. <sighs> That's what you always claim. No, you did. I was up for like at least <laughs> the last two hours with the baby that you put next to me, closer to me, by yeah. the way. Well, were you were you there by yourself with the baby? Never. That's not safe. <laughs> okay, so I didn't get. It's not safe I didn't to put, get leave sleep me either. alone with a baby. Yeah, you know the baby. We want the baby to still be around. Exactly. So don't leave me alone with the baby. So I, I was I in the bed you. with you. Exactly. So that means I didn't sleep either. And actually, who who do you think brought the baby to bed? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought she magically floated over there. Yeah, no. On her magic blanket that she no. loves. She loves that blanket. I know. I heard her uh, coughing in the other room, and I was like, okay, I'll go get her. I didn't hear her coughing. I know. I don't know why I didn't hear you her. You know why? why? Because you wear earplugs. Is that why? Yes. So that prevents you from hearing yes, stuff? Yes. That, that, oh. That prevents from hearing everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guess what, young lady? Yeah, what? Somebody else I know in this house will wear uh-huh. earplugs now. Well, I wore it the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Because what did you realize? I realized that you need to take something for your allergies because it's been a year of waking me up in the middle of the night by sneezing <sighs> and sorry. coughing and blowing your out, nose. I know. I got to clean out the uh, nose. I got to clean out the filters. They got to be changed more. You know, I was thinking that. I, I think you that. should take something. I did. No, you you gotta up, you know, like up bring the, bring it up a notch or something because right. whatever you're taking is not working. Sorry, I went down to the garage this morning and sneezed. Mm-hmm. You didn't hear me in the garage. I can hear you even if you're like a block away from the house. Yes, I hear you, <sighs> Schneider, and we all hear you. By the way, when the baby wakes up in the middle of the night, it always happens to be after you were sneezing. You know what's funny? Not funny, but like mm-hmm. uh, with Miranda. Remember, I was in the baby's room <laughs> and I sneezed. What did she say? Yeah, she came to to a room because she thought there was like a dinosaur. <laughs> I said, "What well, kind of?" Yeah, <laughs> a yeah. human dinosaur. A human dinosaur. An oldie. <laughs> Dinosaurus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now I'm sick. I'm sorry you're sick. I feel bad yeah. about that, mm-hmm. but only be, uh, but not just that. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for me. I know because now you're not going to be able to do as much. Well, I no. That's the, that's the problem. Like problem. anytime that we get sick, and I mean we, the moms. Yeah. We don't get to rest anyways. We we somebody uh, somebody has to make the uh, the food and take the kids to school. Wait a and minute. Make sure that they. When you you're know, sick, you still uniform. have to do that. Yeah. What isn't the, What isn't the other guy? What isn't your husband? Help? Oh, well, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Why don't I? I don't know. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm but, doing. But if you were sick. You would yeah. be in bed already, like dying. Out. Yeah. Complaining. Complaining, yes. Sleep. Mm-hmm. My yeah. head hurts. Mm-hmm. My feet hurt. Speaking Everything of my hurts. feet, mm-hmm. Miranda noticed and said, why is your toe bleeding? <laughs> because I, I think I've been hitting it. I think I hit it twice <laughs> last night, yeah. in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm just going to turn all the lights on. You're awake anyway. I just can't. There's a lot of toe uh-huh. um, projectiles. Oh, yeah. You know, to to you know, yeah, I, th- I think your feet like, is like a wood detector, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you my foot hits the yourself. edge of the bed. There's like a uh-huh. there's a chair. <laughs> it's got like a round thing. It swivels, and that my toe hits that. There's like uh-huh. a metal. Why do we have a metal thing at the end of the bed that we put stuff on? Well, it's to put stuff in there. That's what it is. But we don't hardly ever put stuff on it. No, we do. We do. Just you don't see it. You know, what we have that for to break my toe. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's there it's yeah. so funny because like last night because I walked down and said make sure be careful uh-huh. and on the way back I just like I hit it again uh-huh. and you laugh <laughs> it's just it's, it never gets old <laughs> <laughs> what me hurting myself never gets it's old it's just like I would think 
Yeah. Like by now, your brain already has a map <laughs> you know, of where everything is. No, no, no. The problem is, is not. <laughs> the problem is, I do a circle loop to get back to the bed, but then there's something else on that side. Yeah. What so is this it? side, this side, I cut it a little bit tighter. Uh -huh. yeah. And I was like, I know. Ping. Mm -hmm. And I was like, but I don't, I don't complain no, out, I know. out loud. I know you don't because I don't want to be laughed at more. <laughs> but I still laugh. I know. It's just, I, it's just really funny. I only rolled over and grabbed my foot <laughs> one time, yeah. and you were dying, <laughs> dying laughing. I know. I'll have you know, when you broke your toe. Yes, that was is, painful. Which is still deformed, by the yes. way. Yes, and by the way, I hit it the other day, <laughs> <laughs> The same that toe? Was, that was really, yeah, the same one. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get some lights in the bedroom. <laughs> no, the, the the worst part is the lights were on. <laughs> How did you? How did that happen? In the closet. Oh no! Yeah, yeah I miscalculated. <laughs> <laughs> what did you hit? The little leather that we have in the. In oh the, yeah. Oh, that that's got yeah. That's solid. That doesn't give a lot. I know. So yeah. so you got like. Why don't we put rubber on the bottom of everything in the house? <laughs> we should. Like for kids. Yeah. You know, when kids, you have the remember like in the edge of the tables. Yeah. We had them in there until the babies ripped them down an yeah. hour later. <laughs> it made it like forty-five minutes. Yeah. And then. Um, uh, we should do that for, uh, you know, like to, so that the kids mm -hmm. don't hit the corners with their eyeballs. Yeah. And you got eye juice all over the floor. Oh, God, that's horrible. So anyway, um, uh -huh. we should do that for us. Yeah. Or or maybe we can just get like socks with the, you know, <laughs> pads. With, with pads or yeah, something. Yeah, you're right. That'll be easier. Or just like normal people wear shoes in the house. You yeah. know, it's funny though, it's like m m when um, uh, our daughter looked mm -hmm. at my toe. Yeah. And she just she was really curious cuz it was like, you know, a little blood on my baby toe. <laughs> like for the second time this week. She looked at me, she said, "Is that blood?" <laughs> like, "Is that blood?" <laughs> I don't know, it's not a crayon, you know. Mm -hmm. And and then she her next question was, "Does that hurt?" <laughs> like, "Yeah, it hurts." <laughs> she hit her toe the other day. <laughs> started to laugh, <laughs> but it was so funny. You started to right laugh. Right out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family trait. We're genetically predisposed <laughs> to break our toes. Oh my God. What, what, what did you hit her toe on? <laughs> with the... Uh, with, with the, the robot with vacuum the, cleaner? Yeah, with the Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> the Roomba. How great is the Roomba? Oh my God. I, I thought it just vacuumed. I'm I didn't realize... i just by thinking about it. <laughs> Think about your daughter getting injured. Her little so toes. <laughs> was she jumping around? <laughs> she did. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. She's going to see this one day. You I'm dying sorry. laughing I'm at her sorry, toe. Andy, that was funny. <laughs> now, why is that a particular... Why, why, is, why is it so funny? Why is it so funny? No, Especially, no. Is that a Mexican thing? <laughs> Mexican humor? Just seeing somebody else... Like, to me, I never realized that how uh -huh. mean the level of humor was till uh -huh. Mexican humor. There's that great... There's just some stuff that you showed me that I've never seen. I, never even, I didn't even know what Instagram was. Uh -huh. But my favorite one that you showed me, there's several, were just mm -hmm. like... Just dying laughing and you can't breathe. Uh -huh. But the one where there's this kind of uh, heavy set woman uh -huh. <laughs> on a rope yeah. on the top of a little mm -hmm. uh, a little ridge yeah. or on a little hill, and she's you know she's got a little bit of ways to go to get over the sand to get into the water. Uh -huh. Anyway, there's a Mexican guy who's videotaping <laughs> it <laughs> as she grabs the rope. Uh, he goes, "Uh oh," <laughs> and and what you said was. Yeah. He did the math. <laughs> he did. He did the math. There was a mathematical <laughs> equation. Rope, her arms, distance, I know. falling, not making it to the water. I know. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was very quick. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> and why is that so funny? I don't know. So it's just... It's just... Because it's not happening to us, for one thing. And it does look really yeah. hilarious. Yeah, I think and you see it coming, yeah. and it does come. Yeah. yeah, I think falling is one of the funniest things. I do think so. Yeah. Yeah. There's some stuff I can't watch though, like those uh -huh. surfboard, those, those uh, I'm sorry, skateboarders when they're going on a rail and oh, they yeah, just no, always no, no, crash no, on their not. balls. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I saw a guy do one of those. I don't like that. Uh, yeah. What do they call parkour? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. I never liked it. I thought uh -huh. it's just. You know, if one person dies doing that, it makes the whole thing not worth it. You yeah. know, I saw a guy jumping really far and landing on his balls against oh, a brick, God. a brick, um, a brick wall, and he literally looked at his balls and said, "Like, okay, <laughs> they're not there." Oh no! <laughs> and uh, 
It's just not good. No. I don't like that. I don't like that either. I like the. I what like kind the, of falling do you like? Well, the ones that you are actually like not real injured. Yeah. But it's just fun, you know? Like, that's why hitting the toes is so funny because. <laughs> you know, it's not a big deal. It's not a big but deal. But you also know it hurts. But it hurts a lot. Yeah. So that's why, that's why it makes it really and, funny. Yeah. I don't like to see people falling and hitting their heads. Like, nothing that it could be potentially dangerous. Yeah. It's just like the, the silly things that could, you know, hurt a lot. Yeah. But they're not like a potential risk of anything. Like, like when it. the Hindenburg exploded. What is that? The Hindenburg <laughs> in New Jersey. Uh -huh. There was a giant um, dirigible from Germany that came over. Uh -huh. And they're trying to bring those back, by the way, because it's very, uh, you know, um, less, it's more green. That's the big deal now. Uh -huh. And so this is a big, giant dirigible that was filled with uh, uh, explosive gas. Okay. And it exploded over New Jersey. Oh, God. Oh, the humanity. And it's crashing. And the, the last person, actually, who survived yeah. that um, Hindenburg explosion just died last week. Oh, really? Yeah. But anyway, I was just wondering mm -hmm. if you would have found that funny. No. <laughs> no. A giant thing on fire with people no. in it. No. No? No. no. Too much? No, it's too much. Too much? Yeah, no, I what like... if they bang their toe as they're burning to death? <laughs> <laughs> no. Would you find that no too much? No, it's too much. See, like I like a. Am I, I getting, like, am I like I getting sick too? Minor well, suffering. Uh, we're we're completely out of handkerchiefs. We explain what this is. Yeah, this used to be like one of our kids. Uh, what? Uh, how do you call these things? Like uh, when uh, you wrap them when yeah. they're babies, you make like a little taquito. Oh like yeah, a it's so tamal. cute. Tamalito. It wraps them, and then, then they're comfortable because it's kind of like being in the womb. Well, that's what they area. say. You know, I don't think they're in the womb like this. You know, like I think in, they are in, in the womb like straight. that. Straight? No, they're not. They're straight not straight. Like this, so they're not like they're like that in, in a ball. Womb. Remember when like uh, our oldest daughter came out and her legs were bow legged? And we thought, oh man, I know she's gonna be like that forever. Yeah. And then they said, no, no, no. She just that's the way they grew because she was inside a yeah. very tight area. Yeah. In an enclosed area, and that's the way. It grew. I said, oh my goodness. Yeah, I well, know. How much more relaxed are we about the second baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that a good thing? I think so. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, there's this uh, person that I know. It's yeah. Not my, it's not a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. But she has... Thank you for making that distinction. Yeah. Well, I want to ma make sure everybody knows that. Uh, okay. She has like five kids. Yeah. And literally, I've seen like, not the youngest, because the youngest is a baby. Yeah. And she's always like carrying the baby. Yeah. But there's the other one, which is like a two year old. Mm -hmm. I've seen that kid running really far away from the mom, and the mom is still really relaxed. Like, like almost crossing the street and everything. And the mom is like, it's fine. It's I like, know. I think my parents were that way with me. Like, when, when do Was you stop caring? Like, by the fourth, <laughs> by the fourth kid? Well, you or realize like... they're going to be fine most probably. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you don't panic about it, you yeah. know? Like my parents didn't panic about me, mm -hmm. and you know I don't think they did. Mm -hmm. They knew that there was, you know, replacements, mm -hmm. somebody else to carry on the name or whatever. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about um, today on the show. We're going to talk uh -huh. about being um, what you are sick, sick? And what, I, what I could be sick. Oh God, okay, yeah. What works for you? Because I know you. I, uh -huh. I know that I annoy you uh -huh. in a lot well, of ways. Well, that's what you think. Uh -huh. Go ahead. <laughs> but I know that I know you. I I would say the first half of our, of our marriage, mm -hmm. you were probably most annoyed mm -hmm. me trying to help you. Uh, no, I'm still annoyed. Don't don't <laughs> take me wrong. <laughs> I just don't say it anymore. I just no. I uh, but I, I just I, block that part. <laughs> like uh, no, I know you're still annoyed. Of my facial I, I, expressions. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that you weren't annoyed anymore. I was, oh, okay. I was saying if you would let me finish. Okay. Now okay. you're annoying me by uh -huh, interrupting me. Uh -huh. No, but like the vitamin stuff. And, yes. And 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 like uh -huh. the the stuff that you. Uh -huh. I like the term that you used. Never works. Yeah. It doesn't work for you. Uh, no. But you've come around a little bit. Yeah, when you're around, yeah. So you do it. You take the vitamins just to placate me. Yes. So so that way you're not like all day like, did you take the multivitamin? Did you take the vitamin C? Did you take the? So I'm just like, I just take it. Or sometimes I don't take it, and when you ask, I just say, I just took it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think it works for me. What works for you then? Uh, rest works Sleep. for me. Like the mm. normal things, you know, like eating well. And getting some good sleep and drinking lots of water. 
Yeah, yeah water's a good one. Yeah. No, you yeah. are doing some stuff, though. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. You do do some stuff. Yeah. You do the chlorella. I do the chlor. I did. I did it for a while. I just don't. I, I'm not doing it. You give up no. on it? No, it's just like you know. I think some Chlor- things are chlorella just, drops. Yeah, I think it's like you got to do things for a certain amount of time. Yeah, and then take a break. Otherwise, your body is just not gonna. You know, your body gets used to it. Yeah, that's what I think is happening with you. Like yeah. I think you're used to all the uh, thousand vitamins that you take, <laughs> and it's not working. Yeah, and maybe. I don't think you haven't noticed. But I I have. Okay. Since last year, I was like, okay, this is not working. <laughs> <laughs> he has to take something else. Okay. Yes. So how how was, uh, we just had a nice party here. Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was nice. I thought yeah. I thought that went pretty good. Yes, it was really good. I made the... Uh, Did you, but was, should we not have invited people over because our kids were sick? Uh, They weren't sick. Completely. They were a little bit. A little bit. We should have given people the option. Yeah, they were only adults coming. That's true. Yeah. Nobody got sick that I heard of. No, I don't think so. So far, so, <laughs> so good. <laughs> we rolled the dice on that one. Yes. Yes. Yes, we did. But and it was good. It was good. They loved the food. I cooked that beautiful f- lamb. Yeah, that was good. Leg of lamb. Hard to be vegan. Recipe by my Auntie Aurora. Yeah, she. Uh, that was great. Yes, Don't I like th- how you how you wanted to claim credit on it. Like, well, it tasted that good because of the wine that I bought. And I I'm did like, get you the wine. Yes. I chose the wine, yeah, the you, white wine. Yes, you chose the that wine. That was the base of your lamb. I'm sure Thanksgiving yeah. dinner. Yeah, I'm sure it was. You don't want to give credit to the base. Uh, I don't think I don't think uh no I think Marinate. I think the wine was very nice but I think the other 35 years ex- of experience of my aunt making this recipe <laughs> and telling me well, you know like the herbs and the onions and all that I think that actually is what made it taste so good you know? Okay thank you for confirming that I got the wine and that it was awesome thank you Yes, yes No it was beautiful it. Thank you And your uh, Auntie Ora why don't you tell people how that how to cook that Yeah it's pretty. It's pretty beautiful. It's five hours, huh? It's five hours in the oven, but it's very easy, actually. Yeah, tell tell. You em. just need Rob to to buy you a, a, the best uh, white wine. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I need. Yes, and I just bought a leg of lamb, and um, yeah, I I I use one container, mm-hmm. and I put a bed of white onion, sliced so thinly. Sliced. You you make bed a bed of white onions. Bed of yeah. white onions, and you put the lamb on top. Then you put another bed on top of the lamp. Of and onions, white onions. Of white onions. And then you put mm-hmm. like five bay leaves mm-hmm. and cover it with the, the white wine. The gringo saboyas. Oh, sorry. And, but before you do the... Uh, the white. Before you put the lamp, you put you rub it with the salt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you massage. Uh, yeah, egg. yeah. The, the rub. That's very important. Yeah. Lamb does good with salt. Yeah. And then the white wine, that's and it. And then the white wine, then you let it marinate for 12 well, hours. With bay leaves. Did you say bay leaves? And bay leaves. Yeah. Bay leaves, yeah. In the fridge, then you marinate it for how long? For at least twelve hours. Twelve hours. Yeah. Then you take it out and you put it in the oven. And then just make sure to keep. Uh, yeah, five hours. And you want to keep it covered, right? You cover so it, it for moist. the first. Yeah, for the first four hours. And then take it off so it browns. In the last hour, you just you uncover it. It's beautiful. Yeah, and you can add potatoes like I did. Yeah, but you and, don't add uh, potatoes at the beginning. No, you you add it at in the last hour, so they don't break. Yeah, they don't crumble and become yeah. like um, crumbs. Yeah, so I put crumb potatoes, potatoes. Crumb potatoes in the last hour. Yeah. In the last half an hour, I add mushrooms. Ooh. Yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah, and if it needs a little bit more water, you add a little bit more. And, uh, so did you add some touch. water with the a wine too? A little bit, just a little bit at the end. Cup. So it doesn't, cup. It doesn't dry. So yeah. it stays moist. Yes, and it's delicious. Everybody loved it. That was very the favorite. Very easy, very easy to make, to be honest. It's a, very, it's, a, it's a non-vegan option? Yes. If you're looking for non-vegan options, because that's what eventually is happening. Mm-hmm. Is it just going to be mostly vegan food, and then you're mm-hmm. going to say, there's some non-vegan options. Yeah. Remember? Remember the old days where you had vegan options? Yes. Now there's non-vegan. <laughs> now there's going to be a non-vegan? That's all I got. I know. It's it's, it's really... Uh, I'm glad it's catching on because catching, yeah. I think um hasn't caught on to this household yet. But, I mean, I've mm-hmm. changed. I'm trying to eat less, mm-hmm. less meat for sure. 
you know, but mm-hmm. it just, you know, when you when you start to see, when we saw that show, whatever that show was. Oh, like, the uh, Game Changers. If everybody ate as much meat as in America, then they, the planet would not, there wouldn't be enough land on the world. And we're like, what? Yeah. That That's the kind of stuff that like, that's yeah. effective to me. No, that's not the reason that you wanted to make a change. Liar. Well, what is it? Because that's they the talk about that the uh, men who, that actually is very beneficial for men not to eat meat. Because uh, you're looking like, oh, really? I don't remember that part. That's the, that's the part that you only cared about. And what it's part like, was that? It helps with erections. Really? Yes. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Yes, actually, sure? like, vegetarian and vegan men have a uh, more functional um, penis than men that eat meat. Yeah. Interesting. That's, a fact. Surprised I don't I didn't remember that part. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, after that, after Rob watched that, after you watched that, yeah. the next day he was like, "That's it, I'm going vegan." It lasted like <laughs> half an hour, <laughs> <sighs> and then you ate this meat is, again. I'm glad you're a witness to this. See what I have to put up with. <laughs> Ten years now. Yes. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. And so that was good. Yeah. Hey, have you seen? Like, I'm wearing my Invisalign. Oh yeah. Let's. I, wore, I want to talk I about like for our other, bodies, you know, what, what we're doing with it, huh? Yeah. I wore it the other day too. Yeah, I didn't notice On it that the, much because uh, you were the wear, first first podcast. Yeah, you were. Wa- so you're wearing it. Um, I'm wearing it right now. What does it do for you? I don't the know. Invisalign. I don't know. It hasn't worked I, yet. I've seen it. I've seen it's moving a little bit. That's what you said the last night. Yeah, you said it's that it's better. working. Mm-hmm. That's great. Because you had like a snaggle tooth. Yes. He had one that was like a little. I have one that is like hello, <laughs> like I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. There's one that didn't uh, that wanted to, you know. I have a rebel one. Yeah, didn't want to hang yeah. with the group. Yeah, I was like, no, nah, I'm moving away. I want to see what's over there. <laughs> yeah. What's over there? I Hi. I know. Hi. You know the problem is like uh, th- this works actually. It does. You just have to. You just have to be consistent, like everything else. Wait a minute. Yeah. So for somebody to work, he has to have consistency. <laughs> is that what you're saying? You need discipline and, and being consistent, definitely. And Fuck. I'm not consistent enough. And it's that. funny because when I got the treatment, I was very excited about it. And the dentist made me sign this piece of paper that said that it was my responsibility to put these things on. Yeah, because if you don't... 24 hours a day, basically. Because if you don't, what happens? It doesn't work. And then what happens then? And then I thought, why would someone not wear it? Yes. And then I realized, like, I don't wear it enough because mm. I forget. We should probably turn off our phones. Christian? Mine, mine is on airplane. Okay. Mode. I just turned mine off. Ah, uh, see, it's always your fault. But and I you said try to we. blame it. I said we, mm. which included me uh-huh. as part of the we. Uh-huh. You uh-huh. notice how I, I put myself in there? No. Nah, I didn't say you need to turn nah, off your you're, cell you're, phone. You're the I blamer. Said we. Nah, yeah, yeah. This I time, said I included myself. I I agree because there are said, cameras we. in here. <laughs> but you are you are the master of blaming before knowing the facts. You are, even with our kids. What you always come like Miranda, like hey, you don't well, have listen, the facts. Our three-year-old said something. Uh-huh. If you can't believe a three-year-old, uh-huh. then you have a problem. <laughs> our three-year-old uh-huh. said. She doesn't want to be my sister anymore. No, first of all, she she went over there. She yeah. didn't say that. She said something she said, in Spanish. She said something in Spanish. Yes, which okay. I translated. Which, which I understood. Yes. And that's why I went and talked to the other one. But I understood too. No, you didn't. I did. I heard her, her, hermana. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's couch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That means couch or potato or something. Come on. Just, just, hermana. Just admit it. What? That you're the blamer without knowing the facts. Uh, that's Admitted. one interpretation. Mm-hmm. The other interpretation is uh-huh. I am actively responsive. <laughs> Sometimes incorrectly. Uh-huh. Sometimes. Sometimes. I don't think you're ever being right. That hurts me in my heart. Good. I'm glad. If that's what your hopefully, intention was. Hopefully that will change. That's it. when your intention was. You can yeah. say no. But so just, what are you doing? Like my, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing this thing. I hope. I'll I just want to get back to the little girl. I'll get more I believe my three-year-old. Uh, yeah. I do. I, I, I did too. In the part of the Spanish but, I was able to mm-hmm, understand, mm-hmm. I said, I'm going to go handle the situation. Uh-huh. So I marched over to, the, to mm-hmm. her bigger sister, mm-hmm. who should know better. Uh-huh. And I said, you're going to lose one Christmas present. Yeah, exactly. That was so mean. And you didn't even know like what happened. <laughs> yeah, but I thought. Yes. And, keep, that's, and keep, I reacted because you, of what you should do. Yeah. Be responsive so that the three-year-old 
you know, mm-hmm. no, so you know dead. what you have to do. Find out what happened, really. Exactly. Always find out what happened. <sighs> so keep your thoughts that. for your, you know, to yourself and ask questions. And mm-hmm. when you have the answers, voila. Good deal. Good you deal. Know? I'm learning. Mm-hmm. I am learning. No, you're not. You, but, no, I'm not. But I hope you, you, <laughs> you do. I learned a little bit. Yeah, the change. I'm gonna think. So what are you doing? I'm wearing this thing, and I'm. I think I'm gonna try to wear it at least 22 hours a day. <laughs> are you really gonna do it? <laughs> what I am supposed to do? Yeah, you're supposed. How to How many hours take are you doing out. it? You're not supposed to take it out. You're you're supposed to take it out only to eat, and as soon as you finish eating, you put it back on. See, my grandfather, my grandfather. I don't know why I said my grandfather. No, my uncle uh-huh. Leo. He wasn't really a real uncle. We basically adopted this guy, Leo uh-huh. Stearns. Uh-huh who my dad used to vote for whenever he didn't like somebody. Uh-huh. He'd do a writing candidate. I vote for Leo Stearns, uh-huh. this old, lovely old Jewish guy who used to like, we'd go out to um, have uh, breakfast with him. Uh-huh. And all of us at the table would eat very quickly. As soon as we could eat, we'd finish eating. Uh-huh. And um, because we knew that as soon as he was done with his eggs, he's going to whip out his teeth and just take them out. And then start putting them in the ice, oh, in the God. water right in front of them. <laughs> my mom, I never see my mom's eyeballs get bigger. Like, <laughs> like oh, that's disgusting. Oh no! And I remember like we're like, oh, oh God! Oh my God! But we'd stay because really? we know at the end, at the end of the meal, we'd all get a silver dollar. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. All of us would get a. I back then it was an Eisenhower dollar, uh-huh. and um, that's so what it was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. But okay. I remember looking at that thing, and that's the grossest thing I've ever seen in, in my <laughs> life up till this point. Uh-huh. I remember being eight years old mm-hmm. going, that's pretty gross. Mm-hmm. And you see like the chunks of egg and the yolk oh, God, coming off the teeth. You know, and, he's like, yeah. <laughs> and the best part was, after he dipped for a little while, uh-huh. he put it back on. Oh, oh my right God. Right back in. Uh, why why, you know, why didn't say, we say anything? You want to go to the bathroom, maybe do that over there? Um, no, no one. We all just wanted that dollar. Mm. We're hanging in there. Well, I know. Well, well, okay. So, um, this year, uh huh. First of all, uh, where's my congratulations? Congratulations, thank you. I joined a gym. Oh, yeah, you did. Yes, and you were there. Yes, because, my- because if I wasn't, what probably you weren't, uh, you know, you, you you didn't have a uh, membership yet, probably, right? You wouldn't have one. Probably. So, yes. But so I, you were saying I'm proud that, of myself that I joined. Though. Yes, you were saying I feel that. good about that. I feel healthier. You, you do? I feel healthier. You, you still have to go. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have not gone yet. It's been like over 10 days. It's been 11 days, mm-hmm. specifically. Okay. Exactly. I said over 10 days. So I was you did. right. Okay, this time you're right. <laughs> again. Yeah. This time again uh-huh. you're uh-huh. right. Mm-hmm. However, yes. What's your I excuse? intend to go. Okay. No, first of all, I thought about going yesterday. Okay. So I think I should get some credit for that. For thinking? I was this close to going. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's I should get something. Okay, you're right. I feel like that's almost like a crunch. <laughs> <laughs> I could go to the I could go to the yeah. gym. Yeah, you I were, almost went. You were saying that uh you wanted to join the gym like for over a month. And I did. Well, finally. And I should get some credit for that. Finally, I said, let's go now. I know. And unfortunately, and we you were, were driving. There, you were driving. Exactly. And the next thing I know, we were at the gym. And once we were there, you were this close to bail. Out. You were like, I don't know if I want to spend the money. And I was like, you signed the thing. I know, I Just did. Just do it. I promise you. Here's what I, my promise to you okay. is. Before we do another podcast, I'm going to go to that gym. Or I'm going to give you. Okay. A thousand dollars. All right. Okay. All right. You guys are witnesses of that. I, you're a witness. I'll give you a hundred dollars <laughs> if I don't go to the gym. A thousand. And I'm going to give you that five dollars mm-hmm. if I don't go to that gym. You're, you're a witness. No, you said a thousand. I said what? Yes. I don't think I did. Yes, you did. I think you're in. You're, I think English is not your first language. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I think I said. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. I'm 32 percent sure. Mm-hmm. I said 100. Just okay, go. so so what? Do, no, so the revs. I'm gonna go. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go tomorrow. Now let's say what is the um, uh-huh. um, the New Year's is coming up. Yes. In a month. Yeah. Now, uh, well, now first of all, what what do you, what was supposed to happen this year that didn't happen? <laughs> I don't know. So many things though. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? Um. 
Our TV show? Our TV show. <laughs> our, our season three didn't happen. <laughs> Yet? Yet. Well, we're not. We're we're probably not going to do season three. We're no, it's like we're, reinventing the show. We're, uh, what do they call it? Not reinventing. They, um, what's the term for that? Uh, I don't know. Producer. What's our term for that? <laughs> uh, reinventing. No, um, re reing. Mm. Re reing. Uh, re no, we're no. I, I guess um, kind of um, remastered. <laughs> the miss to it. Reshaping. Reimagining. Reshaping. Reimagining. Reshaping. Uh-huh. We're just doing it. Yes, we are. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we're gonna do that. Yes. And then see what happens. Yeah. Are we gonna see what happens? Mm-hmm. See what happens. But is it gonna be like oh, we're not gonna call it? Real Rob, we'll call it like Rob, yes. so people know it's a different show. Yes, we don't want to confuse the people. Yeah, we can we can call it not so real Rob or something. <laughs> More yeah. real Rob. More realer, realer, realer Rob. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, realer Rob. Yeah. More real Rob. More real Rob. I don't know. I think I think Rob, Rob but, Schneider, the Rob Schneider show. What okay. about that? Or the Patricia Meyer Schneider Maybe. show. Maybe. That's even better. I like it. I like it, too. It's okay. sexier. It's let's, sexier. Let's, let's sign it. Okay, so you're going to be doing stand-up this weekend. Yes. How do you feel about that? You're kind of excited about it. I'm I, excited. Uh, yeah. I'm excited and I'm very nervous because I am not a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> is that important? I think I think it's part of How important of the, is uh, that? Well, to doing stand up, to being a stand up. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if it's, it's not as important as it used to be because there's like a million people doing it now. Just like mm-hmm. podcasts. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. But you're pretty confident. I am confident. Well, you're a great joke writer. Thank you. You're a good performer. You're a good performer. You know how to tell yeah. a joke. Yes. And some so, of the jokes you told me are like incredible. Thank Did you. Did you like Mark's joke, by the way? Mark Pitt's joke? Which one? I really love that joke, he says. I don't know. It's probably not his, but like. Oh, the, co- the college? The, yeah, well, the high school. So the like, high school. You know, that's like in high school. You know, when they'd have the football game, mm-hmm. they said, you know, there's always the announcer that comes out and said, and now here to sing the national anthem is math teacher Mrs. Abramson. And then one guy yells out, Mrs. Abramson sucks, dick. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> here to sing the national anthem. He <laughs> loved that. Joke. Nevertheless, it's just, it's one of those things that are just dumb. Um, it's just funny. It and is you, funny. You can't explain why. No. So what what are you going to talk about at your stand up routine? My stand up. Stand up this <laughs> this Saturday. I know. I've been making a list already of yeah. uh, things that I have to write. <laughs> I'm really? going to get to write today actually. So you're going to come with me to Sellersville, the Sellersville Theater Friday, mm-hmm. December 6th. And then we have um Saturday, December 7th, the Real Rob show with Jamie mm-hmm. Lisso. That's the Cove Haven Resort. So what are you going to talk about that's new? Um, Surprise us! Tell us! I'm gonna tease talk. us. What's happening? I'm gonna talk about uh, doing homework. Oh yeah, with your kids. Yes. Tell me. Tell us. Um, well, it's not easy, you know, to Why? do homework. Seems with easy. Your kid. From the other room, I look over and I go, "It seems easy." Yeah. Well, it's not easy, really, <laughs> because they don't focus. What do you mean they don't focus? It's really hard to. It's really hard to focus. 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 Focus means something else. <laughs> okay. Focus. I always have trouble with that uh, word. They don't concentrate. Focus. Let's just change it to concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like like beach. Mm-hmm. Beach. When I first met you, you didn't say beach. No. You said bitch. Bitch. Go to the bitch. <laughs> yeah. We should go to the beach and fuck us. <laughs> she said fuck us at the beach. <laughs> go to the beach and have a good fuck us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can fuck us at the beach. You know, be more comfortable instead of here. Fuck us here. <laughs> fuck us at the beach. <laughs> at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. So, so what? What's hard? For fuck us at the beach. At the what's? <laughs> what concentrating? What? Why is it hard? I mean, she's concentrating. Or are you concentrating? No, she can't concentrate. At all. At all. Like when you sit down, and I think it's not only my kid. It's like every kid in the world. She's barely seven. Yeah. So you sit down with them, and you, you know, you're like, okay, we're gonna do your math homework because every day she has math homework. And she has to read. Those yeah. are like the two, you know, uh, assignments every day. Yeah. So There's not much else. She's like just barely seven. Yeah, I know. They're not going to be throwing world history at her. I know. Constantinople. <laughs> I know, but it's still. It's like, okay, yeah. okay, honey, let's do this. And it's like, 
you know, how much is two plus two? And then she's like, uh. <laughs> 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 I like, know. Then she starts just like, my knee hurts. And like, okay, okay, okay. I'm going to rub it. Okay, sana, sana, literra, and then, you know, like, give her a kiss. And two like, plus two, uh, my knee hurts. So she's yeah. distracted by Yeah, she's stuff. always distracted. And she's like, okay, it's like, okay, let's, let's do this. And like, how much is two plus two? And she's like, I'm hungry. <laughs> like, Jesus, like every time there's something like uh, my yeah. stomach hurts i'm thirsty i need to use the bathroom i know that bathroom excuse is getting old to me yeah whenever we want to get her to eat vegetables mm -hmm. i need to use the bathroom mm -hmm. i know they know it works it works with you when i ask you to take care of the kids and i'm like honey can you watch the kids and you're like yeah but i have to use the bathroom first and i'm like all right, so it's going to be like half an hour on Twitter in the bathroom <laughs> before you come down and help me. Oh, God. Yeah. So anyway, You know people are watching this, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're going to hear this. Uh-huh. And not watch it. You're not showing me in a proper light. You think so? No. Oh. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh -huh. oh, what I forgot to mention, I mean, uh, and so that's... So we're going to talk about that. Uh, uh, yeah, about that and like, you know, like the H difference. I forgot to mention like why... Mm -hmm. Like at the at the gym when I'm grossed out at the gym. Okay. Because there's a lot of old guys in there. Okay. And it's grossing me out because you're not supposed to be ripped when you're old. Why not? Because it looks weird. Yeah, because your skin gets stretched too thin when mm -hmm. you're old. You know? It's like, look how ripped I am. Yeah, but I could see your heart. <laughs> you're grossing yeah. me out. Uh -huh. Put on a shirt. <laughs> I don't want to see that purple thing. Oh, God. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Too hard. Hey, remember what? when you were solid joke, by the way, yes, people. That was very good. Solid, right down the middle. Yes. Solid double, not a home run, but a solid double. <laughs> That'll get your guys on base, and then you hit the homer. Mm, nice. Good Let job. that be a lesson to you. <laughs> so what? Do what? you remember when one day I think you were dancing or something or doing <laughs> something? <laughs> you, you think I was dancing? I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> It resembled dancing. <laughs> was I flapping? I don't know if you were like. Was I having a was I, I having a seizure? I, I know. I wasn't sure if you were like having a stroke or you were dancing. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you took your shirt off. Yeah. And Miranda was like three. She was like around you know Madeline's age, and she handed back. <laughs> 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 I remember that. So like, put this on. Uh. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah, I thought you were gonna talk about when I was when I was dancing <laughs> and I I got uh, doing the jitterbug. Oh yeah, that was your jitterbug injury. And I, I forgot. I think about I that. I think I sliced my my stretched out my toe and like you know when you crack your toe and they're like no it's the skin between your toes and it gets cracked in the middle there and it's open for like a long time. <laughs> yes, I remember that. That's what I thought you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, that was another time that you injured <sighs> yourself. That That's way. why you got to be careful. Dancing is very dangerous. Yes, it's a dangerous sport. Dancing, mm -hmm. you can easily yeah. hurt hurt between your toes. Yes, let that be a lesson to all you people out yes. there. Yes. Okay, so what else you can talk about on uh -huh. the on the on this gig this weekend? So I'm going to talk about like our age difference. Is there an age difference? Um. Yeah, and uh, you know, laser <laughs> removal. Like, oh yeah. I went to I went to that place laser away. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it was very... You just need to go back. You got one more. It was very interesting. It's just so painful. I don't want to yeah. go. I don't no. want to go for the last torture. Really, huh? Yeah, I'm bailing out. I'm like, no, nah, I'll <laughs> deal with this. I don't care anymore. Oh, really? So you'll deal with the hair issue? Well, it's not... No, I, I did like, I don't know, like 10 sessions or nine. I'm just missing Did you the notice last the difference? One. Yes. Yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's still, it's like, I don't want to deal with that pain again. It's, it's seriously, it's like, I don't think you realize how painful it is. <laughs> what part of your body is it on? Yeah, everywhere. Whenever, <laughs> whenever you grow hair, it's going to be there. Like, they, they're les lasering you. Now, is, do they stream this live when they do this to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, God is like, it's, it's so, like, I don't know. Painful. You have to, it's, yeah, painful. But also, it's not only painful; it's embarrassing. Oh yeah, because you you have, you're naked in there. Yeah. And you you have this gown, but you have to open it. You know, like so. Yeah, so they can't. It's hard to do laser through gowns. I know exactly. I'm not an expert on laser surgery. Yeah. Or lasering. Especially if you do like your bikini. laser hair removal. Oh, bikini, yes. Yeah, it's like it's so embarrassing, you know, because literally, like you know, like you have a girl like opening your leg, you know, just like if you're yeah. like a turkey and they're about to stop the turkey, <laughs> it's just like oh god. 
It's embarrassing. No, I remember like my old uh, makeup lady <laughs> when I was doing a movie in England. Mm -hmm. And she, I don't know why I said old, but she, uh -huh. I mean, like it was a long time ago. Uh -huh. And she was telling me, she was just, she was kind of traumatized. And I go, uh -huh. are you okay? She said, no, I'm fine. No, I just, <laughs> And what is it? <laughs> no, I just, you know, my, my other job that I have, I've, um, it's a, you know, a waxing place, hair removal. And, uh, whew, you know, what? No, there's just this unfortunate Iranian girl that came in and, oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, and I said, well, and I said, well, that sounds interesting. Tell me what happened. Uh -huh. Well, you know, her bush started in the front and it went all the way back to the other side. I mean, it was just, it was too, uh -huh. I didn't have enough wax in the shop. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, laser, Some nationalities yeah. can have uh, yeah. some hair issues. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Well, it, oh, the darker your hair is usually, you know, like the more hairy your <sighs> Yeah. Or at least it shows more. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's where I did it, you know, because I'm hairy. You're beautiful. Potter. <laughs> <laughs> You're very beautiful, Harry Potter. Yeah. Okay, so what's going to happen? But, what, I, but I lasered my hair away, so. <laughs> it's gone. You're gorgeous. So what happens to the, um, so mm -hmm. uh, this year, what else didn't get done? Anything you okay. feel like you needed to get done, didn't get done? Um, yeah, well, I don't think I worked out as much as I did last year. Okay, you're going to make up for that next year? Yes. Um, this year, there were like a few complications there that I couldn't okay. like really work out. By the way, I think I'm going through caffeine withdrawals right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, my Why? head just went, hey, where is the coffee? <laughs> you didn't have coffee yesterday. You didn't yeah. have coffee the day before. Like day three is when you're like, I, I just find yeah. myself crashing hard. Wow. Yeah, like where the brain goes, you're bad. You want to you wanna be pain pain? Here, take a look at that. <laughs> But you, yeah. didn't you tell me what coffee, because I never really knew this, what coffee really was, though? Yeah. Is that coffee, isn't it like a toxin or like a poison or something? Yeah. That, what is it? How does it work? Uh, I don't remember exactly. But I'll, We're I'll, doing a show podcast. You think you'd yes. have all this stuff. How come you don't remember everything? No, uh, but does, doesn't, I don't remember only the important things. <laughs> no, but doesn't it, isn't it something like... Yeah, actually it what happens, it gives, from you, you. gives you the energy by your body trying to get rid of it. Okay. Yes. Supposedly. Your liver. Let me find it right now. No. Yes. Okay. So, okay. Um, all right. Yeah, Next year, not, what are we going to do? It's supposed not to be good for you. Well, who knows? You know, there's so much information out there that is good, and then there is not. And the blah, blah, I know. Blah, so like, I don't know. I don't know. I know this, though, that we're going to be at Schomburg Improv in Chicago uh, December 27th, 28th, and 29th. Mm -hmm. That's this December 28th, 27th, 28th, and 29th. It's Schomburg Improv. In Chicago, Schomburg, just right out in the burbs. Our good friend Tony and Pat Baldino will be out there in Chicago. It'll be a great time. The Bears are having a very interesting season. Uh, so hopefully they just won the other day. People will be in a good mood and we'll have a chance to have a nice time out there in Chicago. And that'll be December 27, 28, 29. Chicago, the Bears. Uh, and that's uh, in uh, and that'll be fun out in Schomburg. Beautiful club out there. Yeah. Uh, all right. And then we're at Sellersville December 6th. That's Friday. And Saturday, December 7th. Uh, at the, uh, we're going to the Sellersville Theater in Sellersville. And December 7th, a day that will live in infamy, uh, Lakeville, Pennsylvania, the Cove Haven Resort. Where we'll be doing the Real Rob Show with Jamie Lasso and Patricia Maya Schneider. Okay. So, darling. Mm-hmm. What the hell is going to be the difference for next year? Okay, so suppose oh here the coffee an eight ounce cup of coffee results in a forty percent decrease of blood flow to the brain. Forty percent less. Uh, yeah, less. You have with an eight eight ounce cup of coffee, you'll have like a forty percent decrease of blood flow to the brain, and this is because caffeine is a natural pesticide, which causes blood vessels to constrict, resulting in less circulation to the brain. It takes up to two weeks for brain activity to return to normal after just one cup. So, now, yeah. how, how do I see? That's the problem, with the internet. I don't know that's true. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, but that, I know. But that kind of makes sense, though, huh? Yeah, it's a pesticide. Yeah. How do they classify anything as a pesticide? I don't know. I don't. I don't make those classifications. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but I mean, I know that it's addictive. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you stop taking it, you feel like shit, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just started to crash over it. Yeah. Okay, good. So what's going to happen next year? You're feeling good about it? 
Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, good, good. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Feeling good about next year. What do you want to do next year? What's I'm going to hit that gym. Oh, God, can you do it earlier? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm going to go tomorrow. <laughs> okay, good. So they don't have to pay you $5. Mm. And then, um, no, I'm looking awesome. forward to, there's a couple of movies that are coming out. I'm okay. excited about that. Mm -hmm. You know, the, that, that little movie that we made mm -hmm. with the little movie, listen to me. It's a big movie with David Spade. Uh -huh. But it was not, it was little. You know, what I did was fun. Uh -huh. And uh, it was nice. It was contained, mm -hmm. you know. It wasn't like a big, gigantic action movie. I mean, the whole time I think I was on a boat. Uh -huh. and that, But I had so much fun. Yeah. With David Spade and a uh, bunch of people on that. Mm -hmm. Fun. What a great time. It's called The Wrong Missy. It's coming out in April. And then uh, another blast with uh, What a Summer in Boston. Mm -hmm. I think the girls had like the most fun. Oh, yeah. On that slip and slide thing. What was that thing? It was like a inflatable. It was an inflatable slide. With pool. water, with pools, with water spouting. Yeah. How much water do we think we wasted in there? I don't know. <laughs> we ran yeah. it for hours. Yes. yes. But it was in Boston. They don't, they have like a surplus of water. I'm 100% yeah. sure. I'm 87% <laughs> sure. Hopefully. Yeah, that was like the most fun I think thing they ever did. You all right? I'm okay. I know. I'm sorry you're sick. Sorry. We should end this thing a little shorter so that you can go take care of the kids. <laughs> yeah, and you know he's right. <laughs> no, true. because I feel bad. You're not yeah. feeling good. And uh -huh. I feel like you should relax and go take care of the kids. Uh -huh. I can take a nap. Uh -huh. Get ready for my show tonight. <laughs> now, why uh -huh. do you see people going to think I'm an asshole now? Mm -hmm. It's not true. I never yeah. do that. No. Just making believe. We're just making a show. Yes, exactly. We're putting in a little show for you. <laughs> okay. So, um, mm -hmm. how do people get a hold of you? Uh, they can come here to the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but if they don't, if they don't know the gate, oh, the guard, uh -huh. if they're not friends, with the 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 uh, the guard. Okay, the guard at the gate. So you can find me on Instagram at I am Patricia Maya. What? Mm -hmm. I am Patricia Maya yes. on Instagram. Okay, yes. and then. And if and they want to see your cooking shows, where's that? Yeah, well, you can find my YouTube channel, Cooking with Patricia. And also, oh. the, the link is in my bio on Instagram. Okay. That's so what I use So you can go right most. to it, right? Yes. And so now, are you going to be doing some more stuff? Because I know you were cooking some stuff. Yes. When's yeah. the next thing? What's going on? Well, uh... People are waiting. They want to know. I know. What's next? I know. Well, as soon as I get better, I'll start cooking again. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made the. Um, you haven't? No, no, no. There, there, you, I have some options. Now there's coming like a very nice uh, bread, you know, a pop, bread. poppy seed bread. That's beautiful. With lemon. Did you put that on there? Yeah, I'm going to put it uh, today. That's beautiful. Yes. See, that's the problem about the gym. Uh -huh. And I'm glad you brought that up finally. Okay, okay. You admitted it. Uh -huh. No, mm -hmm. it's hard to go to the gym uh -huh. and work out uh -huh. and look beautiful. Uh huh. When you're cooking poppy seed cake uh -huh. in the house, yeah, it's your how, fault. How is the how is the cake stopping you from going to the gym? Because I have a choice. I can go to the gym or I can eat this poppy seed cake uh -huh. and have coffee with pesticides in it. Uh -huh. why, why natural, can't, natural why can't pesticides. You do both? Because mm -hmm. you can't do two things at one time when you're over fifty. Everybody knows that. <laughs> you got to concentrate. Mm. Otherwise, you wouldn't be eating the cake really good, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or you wouldn't be going to the gym really good. Oh, okay. That's why. I get it. Okay, I'll go. Well, I love you. I love you. And um, uh, we have two really sweet kids. And then they're yes. both sick. I know. It was so sweet yeah. waking up with her this morning. Mm -hmm. Which one was it? <laughs> the younger one? The youngest one. Yeah. yeah. She's so cute. I know. What's her name again? Madeline. Madeline. That's a good name. We should keep mm -hmm. that. No, she's so cute. And uh, just like, you know, because um, getting slapped in the with a face, in the mm -hmm. face with like a little arm, mm -hmm. usually you go, what what the hell is that? Uh -huh. But you go, oh, it's so cute. I just got woken up, slapped in the face with my <laughs> my little kid's yeah. arm. Oh, so cute. Yeah. And then she fell asleep. I wasn't sure she was going to fall asleep, but I was so mm -hmm. hoping so yeah. that we could sleep. I know. And then she did fall asleep for a little bit. Yeah. So cute. I know. And then you left and slept in another room. Yeah, because I work for a living. Uh -huh. I'm not taking it easy in the house all day like you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and work in Mexico for a couple of months. Oh, no, don't. Just, you know. No, please. Just see what happens. I'll lose my shit <laughs> the first hour. Hey, um, no, but uh, you know, it's uh, I, I did put like mm -hmm. the pillows around the, the bed because she likes yes. to flop off the bed. Yes. We're pretty high. For like mm -hmm. a baby, it's like a two-story two story building fall 
under that, yeah. under those cushion, mm -hmm. under those pillows. I know. Sometimes you don't put her on. <laughs> Because I've heard, I never leave the bed. That's why I don't put them around. Hmm, you're I stay. Right. You're good. Take care of the kid. You're good that year. So this year we're going to be in Chicago. I don't, I don't use the, the nanny pillows. <laughs> <laughs> so this year we're going to be in Chicago for New Year's. Yes. We, we were in Chicago mm -hmm. many years ago. Yes. For New Year's. Remember mm -hmm. that? Yeah. That was like nine years ago. And here we are again. Yes. Going back. Mm hmm Chicago. They're having yes. an Arctic freeze right now. So you better mm -hmm. hurry up and get better. Okay. I think they call it a polar vortex. Oh, really? I don't know what it is, but it sounds cold, right? It sounds really cold. It's like, we're having a polar vortex. Bring mm -hmm. your bikini. Yeah, exactly. Bring the sunscreen for the polar vortex this weekend. Mm -hmm. There's always just, Chicago's like the coldest fucking place ever. Oh, really? Know? It just is. You know, uh -huh. there's always these stories that like, you never like, you know, there's crazy stories in Florida, all the weird shit happens in Florida. Yeah. Well, in Chicago, uh -huh. the... Uh, All the, f all the like winter freezing mm -hmm. stories, mm -hmm. like this woman in a basement, the pipe broke mm -hmm. and she literally froze her ankles. She froze in the What? basement and they had to rescue her because she was like literally there. She got stuck in the frozen water in her basement. <gasps> oh Doesn't that God. sound cold? Yeah. And you're complaining with your cold. I'm not complaining. What about that woman freezing? <laughs> you didn't even care. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. You didn't even care to know there's a woman <laughs> frozen, stuck uh -huh. in the ice mm -hmm. in Chicago where we're going for yeah. New Year's at yeah. the Schamburg uh, Improv for mm -hmm. three shows. Maybe I shouldn't go. Maybe you should go by yourself. <laughs> no. Come with me. It's lonely and cold. Maybe you should go. No, it's going to be we'll nice. We'll be nice and cozy We'll here. have the kids. We'll have the kids there. Having some champagne. Oh. Think, thinking of you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm dragging you with me. I'm here for you. Okay, that's the 27th, 28th, 29th. That'll be fun. Well, I love you. Feel better. Okay. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Um, this is well, how many we have done with these? Three? Yeah, I think this is our third. But you know, eventually we're going to have to have uh -huh. guests. Yes, I know. Because I I don't have any more things to talk to you about. We've <laughs> <laughs> been married for 10 years. Yes. How do we keep this going? I know. How are we going to keep know. it going? I don't know. We'll see if it keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows if it's going to keep going. Yeah. Right. Our no. kid is already making plans for a cat, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we have to explain that story yeah. before we go. Yeah, well, you know, Rob has allergies. So. Allergias. And our daughter... Para, tu, pa, para español, amigos. Yeah. And our daughter asked if we could have a cat, and I said no, because daddy has, you know, these allergies. So anyways, one day she said, Mommy, if you and daddy ever break up can i have a cat <laughs> she's a sweetheart i'm gonna go f i'm gonna go find her somewhere in the house and beat the shit out of her <laughs> all right i love yeah. you thanks for watching see what happens for watching and listening mm -hmm. wherever podcasts are and it is commercial free mm -hmm. until we yes. get people to give us money for exactly <laughs> thanks yeah. for listening and join us again on see what happens because when you do you will See what happens? See what happens! <laughs> <laughs>